What's up buddy? So today we're looking at Castlevania Symphony of the Night on the PlayStation 1 and uh, yeah which settings this uh, might work best for in Duck Station. So let's start with the very first uh, starting area here. This is a fairly good example here. So we have the 2D uh, 2D foreground with all the sprites and everything and also a 3D background here which uh, should be a pretty good example. And what we're looking at here is the native resolution with us with the, when the scaling is also nearest the neighbor with the sharp pixels. This is mostly how I have played this game and it looks pretty nice I would say. Yeah, I quite uh, like this one. Uh, some might also like the like it to be a little bit less pixelated so with a smooth scaling there instead. Let's see here, we are doing all these changes here in real time, so uh, there we go. So yeah, it's far less pixelated here. It looks pretty nice as well, but everything kind of becomes a bit more blurry, including text and everything like that. Uh, I would see some might like this. I think uh, I personally, let's see, let's go back to nearest neighbor. I think I prefer this one over the smooth one. But yeah, that's a pretty good example there. Uh, there is also another way we can get a bit more resolution but still keep this all uh, pixelated here. And that is with down sampling. Uh, that is when we uh, increase the resolution or the internal resolution, which is then uh, down sampled back to the native resolution. So let's uh, do that. Here we go. So yeah, that's our internal resolution of 9x or 4K. And we can see in the background there, it has a lot more detail. Or it doesn't look, uh, definitely changed the look there for the clock tower. Mm, yeah, it doesn't blend in as nicely, I would say. This is also with the nearest neighbor scaling here. We could uh, change this to the bilinear smooth scaling. I would say that kind of blends in a bit better here. Yeah, with the downsampling you can 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 kind of get a bit more smoother 3D stuff there. Uh, but still retain all the pixelization and... Uh, yeah, for some games I would say that works. And uh, yeah, it doesn't uh, look too bad there. I think I prefer the native resolution but... Uh, yeah, this is definitely an example. Let's go back to the nearest neighbor here again for the scaling. And let's also change to the native resolution. And back to 9 or 4K with downsampling. Yeah, it's not too bad there. I think I still prefer the, the native resolution over this one. Uh, but still pretty nice. Uh, one thing also one can do if you want to, let's see, let's turn on the down sampling. If we do want to keep the, have uh, it a little bit blurry but not as blurry as it is with the native resolution. We can also go with a 2x uh, native resolution. So let's see here. There's the smooth scaling with the 1x or the native resolution and here is the 2x native resolution. So yeah, definitely a bit uh, sharper compared to the other one but it still remains a little bit blurry here. And also we can see the 3D backgrounds there has a lot more detail there with just a 2x uh, internal resolution. But yeah, let's also change it. Here is the nearest neighbor. So it's not a it's not all that much of a difference, but uh, well, it definitely makes it a bit, a little bit less pixelated. Anyway, that was those one. Let's also next go to the fully scaled. And here is the native resolution, and let's go to 4K without anything else there. So there we have that, and yeah, we have a uh, well, we have a lot more detail in the background 3D elements here, but it's also quite a lot more uh, obvious. We have uh, 
the 3D elements kind of jump around a bit here, which is kind of it is kind of common with the PlayStation One game, but uh, well, it kind of makes it a lot more obvious here with the uh, with the 4K internal resolution. Uh, this uh, duck station also. It does have geometry correction, which should uh, help for that one, but that depends on the game, not everything supports that. But uh, let's turn this on. There we go. Now I have uh, geometry correction turned on here. And yeah, it definitely changed, but uh, well, as we can see, it doesn't work all that well here in this game, I would say. It kind of breaks it a bit more there, at least uh, sometimes. Yeah, the clock there on the clock tower kind of just jumps around there. Let's uh, turn off geometry correction here and uh, yeah, I would say it still uh, jumps around a bit there, but uh, definitely looks better. Anyway, I think for me, I think I prefer the native resolution with nearest neighbor and uh, nothing, anything extra there. Kind of the sim simplest thing, but uh, everything kind of blends in pretty well here. Uh, but let's uh, have a look at another example. Alright, well here we go, and uh, yeah, this is another part here with a bunch of zombies. And uh, yeah, again, this is uh, native resolution with sharp pixels or nearest neighbor scaling here. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Let's uh, change this so we have... Uh, Bilinear smooth scaling here instead for the scaling. Let's see here. Bam. Yeah. Definitely for a lot less uh, pixelated compared to the nearest neighbor. If we want a little bit less pixelated, oh, but uh, still not as blurry, let's change it to the 2x internal resolution. Yeah, it definitely a. Uh, a bit sharper there, and let's go back to the nearest neighbor. Not, uh, not super obvious, and it might uh, be a little bit difficult to actually see that difference on YouTube. But yeah, it, it's definitely a little bit uh, less uh, sharp there. Uh, dithering is also something some PlayStation 1 games have a ton of. When it comes to this game, on the other hand, it has very little. I haven't, haven't seen any in the in the actual game uh, itself there. I don't think there are. There might be some environment that has it, but uh, those are uh, apparently very easily counted. But we do have dithering, on the other hand, in the, in the menus. As it is here, it is turned off, or it sets to uh, true color. And let's uh, change that one to unscaled, so it's turned off there. And there it is. And yeah, it's definitely some there, but a uh, very minor effect. And if it's uh, turned on or off, doesn't really matter all that much there. So I, I would probably keep it to turn off there, but it wouldn't really matter that much. Anyway, I guess this will be it for this video. I hope you found this one helpful, and you will stay awesome, and i see you in the next one. Bye-bye.